Youth in the Zunga community in Kumase uh, have expressed concern with the composition of a committee investigating the killing of seven young men at Mansong Kwanta in the Ashanti region. The five-member committee, led by a justice of the High Court, has members drawn from the BNI, the church, and the Muslim community. They have a month to investigate how the police shot and killed the seven people they described as suspected armed robbers. But the media was barred from covering that event. So Regional Minister Simon Osei Mensa later talked about the members of the committee. In consultation with the Vice President of the country, uh, we formed an independent committee of inquiry to go into issues associated with the shooting and killing of uh, seven people, uh, which allege, which the police allege are armed robbers or highway robbers. And now the family members, some of the family members are alleging that these people are not thieves, neither are they armed robbers. And they are calling for investigation into the matter. They've also petitioned us and the vice president that uh, they don't want the involvement of the police in the investigation process. As a result, an independent committee that is independent of the police has been established, five member, uh, with representation from the judiciary, so a justice of the high court is chairing the committee. We have representation from the Christian community. We have representation from the Islamic cleric. We have uh, somebody from the BNI also on the committee, and then another person as secretary to the committee. The committee was inaugurated this afternoon. As that we are going to give numbers, their numbers, so that they can call those numbers and then we give them the lead to go to the committee members. We don't have a situation where people we will be just trooping to their houses and all those things to not to give them the chance also to do their work. Again, if you have an issue which is maybe information, you can you can even channel it to us. We will get it to the, the to the committee. Some of them, if you think it's relevant to the family members, they can get to the family members and then discuss with them. Those who think are relevant to the police, the, you can give the information to the police so that they can do their work. We don't want people disturbing them too much. Some of them might not even have anything. They, they can give misleading information and all sorts of things. So whoever has any information, uh, we will put some few numbers out there. You call, and then they can invite you to their meeting, and then you present whatever evidence that you have to the committee. We can now hear from some of the leaders of the Zongo community. We use this opportunity to thank the minister for setting up the committee. And uh, secondly, uh, there is a, a critical element which is missing in terms of uh, how the composition was constituted. Basically, at least if you are forming a committee, one of the critical elements that we know should be known to the public is one about the identity of the members that constituted that particular committee. And to us, we feel it is very, very critical. As at the time that the committee was inaugurated, uh, the public is still not known to the names of those who constituted the committee. And to that extent, uh, we feel that uh, it may lead to some element of nebulousness on the work of the committee. And secondly, uh, we also feel that there should be the terms of the reference, which should be clearly stated. Because yes, to say that they are going to investigate seven, the gun, those who were gunned down, um, will it suffice to really do uh, very good work? Or there are some other terms of res references which are hidden, which are not known to the public. And uh, we feel that those things should be known. And uh, we should allow the public to be involved in all the uh, aspect of the work and to constantly be fed with information pertaining to the movement of the whole issue. So these are basically some of the concerns that we feel that 
uh, it should be it should be it should be captured. Just as we say, this is the first time it occurred. Incidents of such uh, okay uh, happened sometimes back in the Zongo community and here in so many places. Our brothers were gunned down. Nothing of this sort happened. So we are glad uh, this time the government have realized that it's important for it to undertake such investigation. However, uh, we were expecting uh, a lot of consultation, especially with journalists when it is going to be integrated. We thought they would invite the journalists, uh, reps of the diseased, the youth in the community before the inauguration, and we've heard nothing of this sort. Uh, and however, we still believe being an independent body, uh, they will do their work well. We expect them to come out with a very clear uh, 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 outcome, especially that will vindicate uh, our brothers in the community.